If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Creating an expense lets you enter company expenses not entered into one of the other transaction expense forms like the check window, for example. To create an expense, click the plus new button in the navigation bar. Then click the expense link under the vendor's heading in the drop-down menu to open the expense window. To select the name of the person paid by this expense, use the payee drop-down in the upper left corner of the window. To select the account from which to pay the expense, use the account drop-down to the right. The selected account's balance appears to the right. Select or enter the date of the expense by using the payment date calendar drop-down field. Then use the Payment Method drop-down to select the method of payment. If needed, you can enter a reference number, like a check number, into the Reference Number field at the right side of the window. To enter an expense related to an account and not tied to any products and or services from your Products and Services list, use the Category Details section. To expand and collapse this section, click the black arrow by the label for this section. The columns shown in the Category Details section are Category, Description, Amount, Billable, Tax, and Customer. There may also be a Class column if classes are enabled. You can click into the Category column and then use the drop-down to select the account. You can enter a description of the expense to that account into the Description field. Then enter the amount to attribute to that account into the Amount field. If the amount is billable to a specific customer and you want to invoice them later for it, check the billable checkbox. To associate the amount with a specific customer, select a customer from the customer column in that row. If needed, click into the next row and repeat this process to allocate the total expense amount to the necessary accounts. To delete a row you entered, click the trash can icon at the right end of the row. To add multiple rows or clear all rows, click the Add Lines or Clear All Lines buttons below this section. Alternatively, to enter an expense for items in the Products and Services list that have purchasing information associated with them, select the items from the Item Details section. Because those items are already associated with expense accounts, the related expense information for the items you select is tracked by entering the items into this section. The columns in the Item Details section are Product Service, optionally SKU, Description, Quantity, Rate, Amount, Billable, Tax, and Customer. There may also be a Class column if classes are enabled. Click into the Product Service column and then use the drop-down to select the item to buy. The information for the line item should then appear in the adjacent columns, however you can edit the information or change it as needed. Then enter the quantity, rate, and or amount of the line item into the quantity, rate, and or amount fields. Like account expenses, you can also associate a line item with a specific customer by selecting them from the customer drop-down. If the item is billable back to the selected customer and you want to invoice them for it later, check the billable checkbox. If needed, then click into the next row and repeat this process to enter all the other line items to buy into this section. To delete a row you entered, click the trash can icon at the right end of the row. To add multiple rows or clear all rows, click the Add Lines or Clear All Lines buttons below this section. To add a note about the expense, type it into the Memo field. To attach files to the expense, use the Attachments field. The buttons in the toolbar at the bottom of the page let you manage the expense. To cancel the expense, click the Cancel button. To clear the expense window, click the Clear button. To create a recurring expense, click the Make Recurring button to open a page that lets you set the recurrence pattern. To save the expense, click the Save button. To save the expense and then close the window or open a new window, click or select a choice from the Save and New or Save and Close drop-down button. Like other transactions, after saving an expense, 
You can then click the More button that appears towards the center of the toolbar to show a pop-up menu of additional options. These options are Copy to copy the expense, Void to void it, Delete to delete it, Transaction Journal to view its accounts and debit and credit amounts, and Audit History, which shows its change history. You can simply select the associated command to perform it. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.